This is Chuck Reynolds. I'm going to welcome you to my channel again. And again, I'm inside because it's 34 degrees, it's foggy, it's raining and turning to snow in Arizona. So I've got an inside project I'm going to do today, which is Valentine's Day, and it's not anything to do with a Valentine, unfortunately. So uh, I'll have to do something else to make my mining partner happy. Uh, Cheryl and I have kind of agreed to not do a whole lot for Valentine's Day. You know, we've been married uh, coming on 55 years, so funny how this video is kind of for her and for me at the same time. So, so stay tuned, and uh, I'll show you what this you project's going to be. It's about 28 degrees here this morning, and it's already a quarter to 10. It's been a uh, hard night last night. We had thunder, we had lightning, we had rain, we had 30 degree temperature, or 30, 30 mile an hour uh, wind blowing around. Then we had mixed snow and rain, and now we got this. We got our third snow of the season, and which is really unusual for us. And it's been cold and windy for, <coughs> excuse me, three weeks now. But I thought it was interesting that uh, we had to have the thunder and lightning last night while it was snowing. Couldn't get a video of that. I wish I could have, but I didn't. So, anyhow, I thought you'd be interested. Okay, guys, what you're seeing here is a three-quarter inch pipe. And if you saw one of my last videos, it was on uh, crushing rock with a, a hand crusher. And a subscriber of mine, Utah Avalanche, uh, he has a great channel, check him out. I'll try to remember to put a link to his channel below in the description. But he said if uh, you want to get your material really fine, get some three-quarter pipe, which this is, cut a 12-inch piece, and put pipe caps on each end. Well, I've got the pipe, and I'm going to have to thread this pipe and put this pipe cap on. Uh, but if you want to build one of these, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get a 12 inch piece of 3 quarter inch pipe, thread it on both ends already, and put caps on it. I just don't happen to have that, and I don't want to go out in the snow because it's cold. So, anyhow, what we're going to do is cut this and then uh, we'll put the pipe cap on the one end and maybe a welder cap on the other. I only have one pipe cap too. But then you put uh, about half this pipe full of lead shot. So when you're doing the hand press to make it fine, that shot's going to be working up and ins down inside of this. So as you're pounding like this, the shot's going to move and come down and it's going to give you more impact on your material. So let me uh, fire this thing up and get the old Milwaukee here to cut this for us. That didn't take long, and hopefully I didn't uh, burn the lens with uh, all the sparks flying around. So anyhow, give me a minute and I'll show you what's going to happen now. Okay guys, as with many plans, uh, they don't go according to what you had planned, so this one's going to change a little bit. I'm not going to use this Hobart 140. Here I'm going to use this little Lincoln Wildpack 100. And what has happened is I thought I had uh, pipe threading tools up through uh, two inch, and I do, but it starts at inch and a quarter, so I'm not going to uh, take my pipe and thread it. I'm going to weld this cap on, this cap on there. Whoops, sorry about that right there. I'm just going to tack it right there and try to get you to be able to see that. Uh, I'll get that set up for, for welding here in just a second and uh, we'll go ahead and tack it then I'll turn it over and, and weld it solid on, on the end and put the shot in it and just I'm going to have to weld a little cap on the other end but not a big deal just to change. And remember you don't have to do all this part. All you got to do is go to Home Depot or Lowe's, buy that 12 inch piece of threaded pipe, get two pipe caps like it's on top of this pipe, 
like it's right, let's see if I can find it, right there, right there on top. Thread those on and put your shot, or put your shot in, put thread the caps on, you're done. But I don't have that right now, and like I said, it's too cold and snowy out, so I'm staying in. Okay guys, we're getting really close to being able to weld this right now. I just finally got set up, got my ground on. Uh, I'm welding with CO2 gas. This is a MIG welder and O25 wire, which is a little light, but I think for this little job, I don't think it'll be a problem. So, let me get over there and we'll give her a go. Okay guys, so since I don't have a cap for this end, this is what we're going to do. I've got the pipe here, got the cap welded on the other end, and I've got it uh, about half full of shot. So this is a uh, nut with a, I'm um, sorry, a washer with a captive nut here. So what we're going to do is put that in, weld it, and then just put a bolt in this end to hold everything. And this one's too long, but I'll, I'll, I'll cut this back and make it, you know, so it's, it'll work. And I'll do as I did with the other one. This one's going to be a little bit easier, and I can tack right here at the edge. It's going to remain square, if everything goes right. And where's my hood? I had lost my hood. Be right back. Okay, I've got my hood. And I've got almost both my gloves. I got one. So I'm just going to tack this again, just like I did before. Only I'll tack this on the side. Trying to get it fairly square, anyhow. Down again, like I did before. All I did was do it this way. So that way I can just turn this and weld it all the way around. Around it in the middle, we're good to go. All right, no sense in you watching all that silly stuff. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get it welded and be back. Oh, you can't see that though. <laughs> there we go. That's what I meant to show you right there. So I'm just going to weld right here. I'll weld around this edge right here. And these are two magnets in it. I'm not quite in the jaws of both of them yet. But that holds it in place so I can just turn it. So anyhow. Well, right, guys, here's the finished product. Uh, I think it might still be a little hot, so I'm going to put a bow on. What we did, because I didn't have caps, like I said, you don't have to do what I just did. So, let's see, let me find my camera here. On this end, I welded a cap. On this end, I didn't have another cap, which was another problem. So this is what I did. Let me back this out a little bit. I just can't get there. What we got here is, this was a captive nut on a washer and I just welded it to the pipe on this end but I put a carriage bolt in this end so now what I can do if I want to take more shot out or put more shot in I can loosen this and take it and I don't lose anything but you can hear him in there yeah I think it's gonna work but he recommends that uh, Utah Avalanche does that when you do this you sit down and get comfy and that's what I'm going to do. And what we're going to do here is, uh, this is pre-broke rock, right? It just didn't get broken all the way. So we're going to put some of these in there and see what we come up with. And just put a few in to start with and see how painful this is going to be. But I don't know if you can see this guy or not, but... No, this is the original, and this is the one I got now, so we're considerably smaller. There we go.
with the exception of bending over like that, uh, much easier than the big one that's so heavy. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we did. So I want to take this little pan, put it in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's the first pass through. And this is what I want you to see right here. This is like face powder here. Now this is really easy to go ahead and pan that out. These need to be run again. And that's what you do with when you're crushing rock. You know, if you're trying to get gold out of it, you don't want to pan that. You know, that, that's way too big. So I'm going to run this other batch and then we'll call our quits for the day. And you can tell me what you think of all this. see so probably I would say two or three times through but this here over here that's going to crush up real quick so if you've got a hand crusher like that one now I've got a jaw crusher too and I'm going to have an impact crusher here shortly but but that's really good I strongly recommend that from uh, that was from Utah Avalanche his suggestion don't do it the way I did it this is well, this was about an hour. Yeah, this is about an hour uh, to get this built. And that's cutting the pipe. It's uh, welding this cap on, making a cap for this end, and, and welding it on, and then loading it with shot. But it's, it's not that heavy. It's pretty easy. The only suggestion I would make if you do this, now my center is nine inches. And it's a little close to my fingers for my suit because you do slide down a little bit. So I would say wear gloves and maybe make it a little bit longer than this one. So I think it's a good project. If you want to try it, go to Home Depot or Lowe's or whoever you get your, your pipe and stuff from. I don't know what a 12 inch nipple costs. It has to be, because you don't have to have galvanized. I you know, actually you'd probably prefer to have black iron. The black iron caps, that's what that, that one is it's on the bottom. But, uh, you, know, you know, you might have seven or eight bucks in it, and it, you will be able to crush your stuff finer, easier. So anyhow, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Come back again, give it a good comment. May the bottom of your pan be gold, and finally crush rock forever. Thanks for watching.